Hey guys, welcome to Griffo Media. I'm Griffo. This is my YouTube channel, griffomedia.com. And do you know what? It's been a while since I've uploaded any new content. And then Hot Shots Racing came along and kind of brought me back out of retirement, guys. See me digital, I've got to blame you for that. If you love your 90s arcade races, Sega Rally, Daytona USA, OutRun, all of that stuff. These are the guys who did all the great ports for PSN and Xbox Live. And I'm going to show you this new game that dropped today. What we're talking 10th of September 2020. This has been rumoured for a long time. This is Hot Shots Racing. And I've got it working with a racing wheel. Yes. Logitech G29. This is working with a crosshair converter, guys. So, yeah, full force feedback, the full bit. You can do Grand Prix, which we're not going to do. All working with the wheel, D-pad and all of that. Single race, which is what we're going to come on to. Time trial, online, race shop settings, all of that. Single race. Now, this is a short play video. I'm going to do a long play video over the weekend, guys. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to go on the coast. We're going to race a couple of these courses here. Um, if you're a big fan of some of the... 80s and 90s great arcade games you're going to love this especially the 90s scud race was a big favorite of mine from sega on the model 3 board and this is absolutely brilliant it's ocean world and it's an absolute nod to that game who would name a character alexa in 2020 they did we will take a look at that in just a second actually tend to agree so all these cars are nods to kind of all those classic ones from Ridge Racer and Daytona USA and Sega Rally and stuff from down the years so let's start as we mean to go on let's throw ourselves into the thunder so I'm going to show you a few courses and just let you know that this is just a great game 60 frames a second PlayStation 4, Xbox One, which this is rolling on. Uh, it's also on the Switch and PC as well. 60 frames a second. Sounds like the game from Sega Rally, doesn't it? Or the guy. See that force feedback going for it? So yeah, this works really well. You've got the views and stuff. Logitech G29, wheel of pedals. So the brake pedal is acting as the drift here, as you can see. And the more you drift, the more nitrix boost you build up. So that's quite cool. Very much a Ridge Racer thing going on. But like I said, with the Scud Race, I mean, this is just like racing through that level, isn't it? And then the boost. And the force feedback's amazing. Logitech G29 running through the crosshair converter. Perfect for this game. Don't know why it's not supported for a wheel. It's another frustration, really, because this game is so good. Arcade racers, you go to an arcade, you play it on a wheel, right? So why not support it? Maybe I'll stand corrected in the next few days, and I really hope I am, because lots of people have racing wheels nowadays. Whether they're going for the high-end stuff like the Fanatex or, uh, you know, doing the whole Logitech thing. It's great playing games like this on a wheel with full force feedback, so... Uh... So with these um, single racer things, you can actually pick three, five, six, seven laps. Just go for a three lapper, just so we can see some of the courses working with the uh, G29. Drifted a bit too early there. Of 
course, over the last two or three years, there's been lots of games that are supposed to be in the pipeline. 90s arcade racer rings a bell. That was a Kickstarter game, which never came to fruition. And they, they had quite a few backers for that game, which was a big disappointment that it didn't actually see the light of day. But uh, I'm sure the guys at Sumo have just been like, right, okay, everybody loves 90s arcade racers. Let's jump on that. And they've done a great job, I've got to say. Guys, brilliant. Wheel support, take it to the next level, right? Let's do the sea view. I'm doing another few more courses, guys, so you can have a look at this. Obviously, you get a variety of courses and a bit of interaction with your character. And I'm sure there's going to be some uh, some downloadable content as well, which will be nice. But yeah, it's it's so good fun. I mean, twelve ninety nine today from the Xbox Store. I paid for it. Yes. The obligatory Sega helicopter in the sky. Little nod to Sega Rally. Great fun, great fun. So glad it's running really nicely at 60 frames a second. This is in 4K on my track racer cockpit. The Sony uh, 4K TV. Just got shunted. I have no boost. I do have the slipstream. There's a lot of slipstream going on in this game. That was a very 90s thing, wasn't it? <laughs> I used some boost that I didn't think I had then. <laughs> Knocked him out. What do you do when you see a load of cars in an arcade racer? You just plow through them. One thing that would have been nice in this game, and it's not really a massive criticism, but because I guess in 90s arcade games, did you get rear view mirrors? A couple of games you did, so you can see what was going on behind you. Would have been nice to get that, but no, it's no biggie. You know when you've gone past the car and you know when you're driving poorly and Somebody's going to overtake you, so it is what it is. We're in the lead. But guys, this is made for a wheel, isn't it? I mean, what's the rotation on this? 270? Looking degrees? got to be that isn't it I'm just having a, a great time racing on it it's just really good fun you obviously build up rewards and stuff we're not gonna watch any re replays or restart that level so yeah for $12.99 and the ability to play it on a racing wheel like the arcade is meant to be I can't knock this game at all I've I, it gets a high 9, 10 from me for the price point and the nostalgia thing. Notice this is an F1 car on here. Should we have a crack? Hello new subscribers during Covid. 
Um, my channel's kind of taken a back seat in the last few months, purely based on the fact that I've been busy doing other stuff. But got some good stuff coming up very, very soon, guys. So, <laughs> whoa, very pole position, right? So you've got that view, and then you can do that, whatever that changes. Look at that. Get a bit of drift going on. Just click that brake. Yeah. And then you can go inside the car. And go in this car even more. boost going otherwise I'm gonna lose a bit of uh, momentum it's a bit of uh, virtual racing going on here as well isn't there million percent bit of Et and Senna Monaco yeah Absolutely. Heaps of fun, highly recommended. And I'll do a long play video over the weekend going through all the tracks and the features and stuff. And by then I'll have a bit more practice on the game and step up to some of the uh, different levels and stuff. But yeah, it's great. I love it. Oh, you can see that. Feels a bit Monaco this, doesn't it? It's on that one. Uh, I'll show you a few more courses, uh, but this is a short play video just to show you the Logitech G29 in this game. Works amazing, guys. If you've got a racing wheel, I can't stress enough. Get yourself something like a crosshair converter or something that's gonna. Should we do the dyno dash? That's gonna be like. Hulk Hogan, man! in a Power Rangers costume. Victor Hulk? What cars have you got? Quite like the look of that. And that. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a long play over the weekend and stuff when I get you know used to the game and stuff and play it a little bit more more over the coming days but you can't knock it can you Islands of Adventure, isn't it? Universal. All we need now is the little Jurassic Park entrance. Somebody shunted me then. Felt that. I'm hearing the Jurassic Park theme as I'm going. I just want a partridge in. Jurassic Park. See you later. Ah, no way! No way! That was the entrance of Jurassic Park! Any contractual stuff going on with Universal Studios? Oh, I love the boost on this, especially with the force feedback. Because you just, well, I don't like that bit being shunted. 
but I do love the whole, you hit it, you feel it, yeah? Hit it, feel it. Wash your hands. I'm leaving the race and I only made the checkpoint by nine seconds, but let's just say Jurassic Park on there, shouldn't it? They played it first time today on a controller on the Xbox in the house, not in the studio. And it was good, and you got the, the rumble and stuff on the controller, and it was really good, tactile and all of that. But nothing like this, nothing like the wheel. I didn't expect the wheel to be this good. I, I really didn't. I didn't expect it to be this good. It, it, it's blown me away a bit. I might get a bit emotional. <clears throat> Maybe one more. Let's go mountain. Castle fun fact. Maybe do one more or two. Because I'm really enjoying it. So you say. Does the electric vehicle gain speed very fast? So yeah, if you're going to comment about using a wheel on this game, guys, um, it doesn't plug straight into your console. It ain't going to work. Actually, this is on an Xbox, and this is a PlayStation wheel. So. <laughs> Go! Oh, that was Alexa's fault. Right. It's really fast. Really fast. Who remembers the um, UK theme park Camelot? This reminds me of Camelot back in the day. I went there once as a kid. Did I drive badly there as well? <laughs> no. I wasn't old enough to drive. I wasn't. Reminds me of Camelot. A little bit. ever one game to incorporate everything about 90s arcade races I think they've nailed it haven't they trains going past helicopters all of that we'll do one more guys I think because I am enjoying myself very much especially with the wheel and that so uh, maybe we'll do one more what do you reckon You know what I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna do a long play video of the weekend thank you for checking out the channel guys Griffo media is my website if you'd like me to demonstrate any videos on this channel any games you'd like to see 
just go for it. Just give me a comment below and I will get on it. Thanks for checking out the channel. It's come out of this game. It's great. Hot Shots Racing. Thank you, Sumo Digital, for making a game that's just so nostalgic and just plays so well. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. See you soon.